Hey, let's face it. Double-digit winning seasons in Madison, Wisconsin are a common occurrence. Last year, they won 10 games. But the main reason for it might have surprised you if you don't follow the Badgers. Instead of it being their rush offense, it was actually the overall defense that led the way. You got it, 13.7. That's all Wisconsin allowed per game in 2015. And that was number one in the nation. Pretty damn good, right? And how about this? They were number one in the Big Ten in total D and number two in the country in that department, yielding just 268 yards of total D per game. That's when you know your defense is playing. And quite a few of those front seven from a year ago return, and the outside linebacker court is going to be solid. With Vince Beagle, eight sacks a year ago for the Badgers, and he's a terrific rush stopper, as is T.J. Watt. That's right, J.J. Watt's brother. And you have the inside linebacker, T.J. Edwards, along with a veteran defensive line. So that front seven intact. Secondary a little shaky because both safeties are gone, and that included the terrific Michael Caputo. But at least at the corner, you should be good with Sojourn Sheldon. He is back. He's a veteran. No doubt a number. Badger fans would love to forget 95th. That's what their ranking was out of 128 teams last year in rushing offense. Yeah, that's what happens when injuries and lack of experience up front will do. But because of the experience that they got, you have seven linemen with some starting experience last season returning. So that should help the ground attack. And you think that would go hand-in-hand -hand with the veteran backfield, including leading rusher from a year ago, Duray Umgabawale, also Corey Clement. Watch for that growing. It was troublesome last year for him. And Taiwan Deal, explosive backfield receiver. You do have a reliable one in Rob Wheelwright, but the real reliable guy, he's gone. Alex Erickson, they'll miss him. And Joel Stabe, the quarterback, four-year starter, he has to be replaced. We'll see if Bart Houston, the fifth-year senior, can get the job done. Yeah, I bet you could use a cool one, huh? Now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Time now for the six-pack of games to consume, and oh my goodness, if that opener against LSU isn't enough to sh make you shake your boots, how about the beginning of the Big Ten season? Late September, it's nothing but a gauntlet of trouble. Both Michigan schools on the road, by a week, and you'll need it because Ohio State comes to Camp Randall on October 15th, and then Big Ten West Champion Iowa on the road, and then Nebraska to close out October. Yeah, it might be the toughest schedule of college football. So my 2016 win projection for Wisconsin, I've got them at seven. That might seem low, but remember, it's a very difficult schedule, plus lack of experience with QB, receiver, and at safeties. That's my look at the Badgers. Catch you later.